How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World is a new film directed by Dean Deblow and it stars Jay Purcell, Kate Blatchett, and uh, Kit Harrington is also in this film as well. And this is a third film in the franchise. This is a sequel to the last film, How to Train Your Dragon 2. This film only takes place approximately one year after the second film. And our hero, Hiccup, is now the leader of this Viking clan, this Viking tribe. He's been saving dragons throughout that span of 10 years. This got to a point where there's so many the dragons, the dragons are overpopulated. He has got the notes from his, his from his father about this hidden world. So now him and the gang must journey out to this hidden world. Meanwhile, while Hiccup is journeying out to find this hidden world, a land where man and beast can coexist in peace and harmony, Hiccup's pet or best friend Toothless discover that he is not alone in this world. There is actually someone who is a, who is exactly his kind, and he meets a girl of his dreams a light fear and we have the movie the hidden world this movie right here was actually really good i was surprised it was a perfect ending to a trilogy and i thought that this film was just really just entertaining and just beyond fun the visual effects is just phenomenal i saw this movie in 3d going into this film you know i had no expectations on the visual effects but the visual effects was, by God. And also the, the voice acting performances was pretty good as well. Main hero of this movie is Hiccup. Hiccup is a leader of this Viking clan. And, and the film focuses on him about what, what kind of decisions he makes. And throughout the film, you are rooting for this character because you get to see what he's enduring. All the pressure. If he feels like he has to do everything on his own. He's thinking about his legacy. Not fail anyone. Don't want anyone to be harmed or hurt. All this all this is pressuring Hiccup, and, and you see it throughout the film. And on a narrative standpoint, it's not really up to par with the second one or the first one. But for what we got in this film, I, I was still satisfied. I just wish it had a little bit more excitement in building up the narrative. Maybe because it's the lack of villainy. The, there is a villain in this film. This, he wasn't a strong character. He wasn't really a true villain or we can really get behind. He doesn't really have a, a true a motivation. He doesn't have a conviction. So what's the point of, of him being on camera? Only motivation is to kill a dragon just because he he is a dragon killer. And he just wants to kill a dragon because he wants just wants to kill a dragon. That's not a definitive reason to be a villain, especially for a film like this. As a whole, this movie was entertaining and it has some fluently visual effects. And I have to say that the best moments in this film has to deal with Toothless and this Light Fury. Throughout the film, the film focuses on Toothless trying to get the ass. It, it focuses on him trying to get the ass. And the writer did a really good job of getting this dragon straight because, you know, it's all about getting the ass. That's that, that's top priority. Uh, that was the main thing I couldn't really gravitate toward because, you know, he, his agenda was right. But I really had a good time with this film. This movie is a great family film. It's by far one of the best movies I have seen this year. This year. So I'm going to give How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, a batman Whoa, get What's going on here? Have you not heard? Have you not heard? Ben Affleck is not a part of this channel anymore. Okay, let's redo that again. I'm going to give The Hidden World a fantastic. I had a really good time with this film. It's a really good film. You got to go out and see. And if you go see it, I recommend seeing it in 3D. All right, guys. That's my review of The Hidden World. Have you seen The Hidden World? What are your thoughts? Comment below and let's talk about it. And I'll see you guys in the next review. And if you like everything you see and you agree, subscribe to my channel and join me in the Batman family. I'll have more Batman-tastic reviews in the way. You have been trained. There we go. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.